Hey y'all, thanks for joining my channel. So today I'm going to be covering some cases of unidentified persons from 1980 to present. The first case is that of a female victim who is a patient at the South Carolina State Hospital. She was unable to provide her real name due to schizophrenia, but she was able to provide the date of birth of January the 31st of 1944, however that could not be verified. She suffered a fatal fall at the hospital on the 14th of February in 1982. She was believed to be around the age of 35 to 50 years old, 5 feet tall, 134 pounds, with brown wavy shoulder length hair and blue eyes. Prior to her hospitalization, She'd been wandering the streets, preaching to people, and claiming to be the daughter of televangelist Oral Roberts. Her case is linked below. The first case is that of a white female whose skeletal remains were found on August the 30th, 1987, near Santa Ana Canyon and Riverside Highway in Anaheim, California. She was located in a grassy area about 50 feet off the road. Searchers found handfuls of blonde hair, but no clothes, pocketbook, or car keys. An autopsy did not reveal the cause of death, but defects to two ribs were found consistent with penetrating stab wounds. She is believed to have been a runaway. Her estimated age is 15 to 19 years old, 5'1 to 5'4, unknown weight, blonde to light brown hair, medium length and straight, unknown eye color. She had high cheekbones and a slender build. Dental records are available. She had a chipped front tooth and were missing several teeth. She had various cavities in her teeth as well. Fingerprints are not available. However, DNA is. Her case is linked below. The next case is that of an Asian female or possibly biracial Asian white female that was located on February the 14th, 1988 in Jenkins County, Georgia. She was wrapped with plastic and duct tape and stuffed inside of a large nylon suitcase or possibly a double bag that is pictured here. It was then placed in a dumpster located off Kaiser Road that is now the bypass and Old Perkins Road in Millen. She died of asphyxiation four to seven days prior to her discovery. Her estimated age is 16 to 25 years old, 5'4 to 5'6 feet tall, 135 to 145 pounds with long dark straight hair she had brown eyes her teeth were in fairly good condition she had crooked upper, upper teeth and had recently had a molar extracted not too long prior to her death no fingerprints or dna are available however her dental records are additional items include bedding that were found with her her case is linked below the next case is that of a white female whose skeletal remains were found in a shallow grave by construction workers on May the 15th of 1989 in Mojave County, Arizona. She was located in a vacant lot near Riverside Drive and Castleberry Lane in Bullhead City. She's believed to have died two to 10 years before discovery. Her estimated age is 17 to 19 years old, 5'5 to 5'9 with unknown weight. Her hair is dark to medium brown, 12 inches in length, with some strands that appeared to have been bleached at one point. Her eye color is unknown. Her dental is available. She had extensive dental work done. Two upper teeth were missing, and a partial denture plate was in place. No fingerprints or DNA are available in her case. She was wearing women's clothing and carrying a purse, but no description are available. She did have one owl-shaped multicolor earring found with her. She has a nickname of Castleberry Kate given by investigators. Her case is linked below. The next case is that of a black female whose scattered remains were located on August the 16th of 1990 by a man walking in the woods of a private hunting ground that was located on Canal Road near Interstate 95 exit leading to Golden Isles Parkway in Glen County, Georgia. She was found just 37 feet from Canal Road and lay roughly a mile and a half from Exit 8. The woman's body had apparently been dumped at the site, probably by someone who pulled off I-95, turned down the first accessible dirt road, 
they saw, which would have been Canal Road. Her body was deposited in the woods on June the 16th, 1990 to June the 27th of 1990. Her estimated age is 18 to 25 years old. Her approximate height is 5'2 to 5'4 and she is between 110 to 115 pounds. She had black hair. An autopsy revealed that she had given birth at some point. Several teeth were pulled. Dental is available. Clothing included a Sears men's blue pullover, short sleeve, short shirt, with a white and tan horizontal stripe and collar. Size medium, blue gray, lance and slacks with a 27 inch waist and a brown leather belt with plastic studs that is pictured here. Her case is linked below. The next case is that of a female that is an, of an unknown race, possibly Hispanic or biracial. She was located in a ditch on Cotton Hill Road near Yamasee Line in Buford County, South Carolina on May the 24th of 1995. She was found by a state transportation department employee who was mowing the grass along Cotton Hill Road off of Shelton Road. It is believed she was killed at a different location and transported about 12 hours driving time from Buford County. She lay on her back for at least 12 hours after her death. The body was found lying face down. Estimated age is believed to be 30 to 35 years old, 5'4", 120 pounds. She had curly dark brown hair, colored red with brown eyes, she had manicured nails and was very well groomed. She had both ears pierced. She had thyroid surgery, a full hysterectomy surgery, and a cesarean birth delivery. Clothing included a pair of underwear. Dentals are not available. DNA is. There was no evidence of sexual assault. Her case is linked below. As always, thank y'all so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And as always, if you guys have any case suggestions or requests, please drop me a line below. Thank you so much for watching.